Hi there! Today we are going to talk about how to set up the event app. Please go to the event app settings page. Organizers can upload the banner here. When you scroll down, there are seven default modules. They are e-ticket, agenda, speakers, attendees, sponsors, live Q&A and file sharing. For other modules, users can click Add button to create more sponsors, custom web view, or file sharing. In the bottom, there are theme colors which you can pick to design the module's colors. Feel free to click the Add button to insert a color code or manually select the color. Under the theme color, there is the splash screen for users to upload the image. You can see the preview on the mobile phone over there. On the right-hand side, there are two tabs which are mobile app and web app. Each tab provides you with a QR code. Each attendees need to download our event app and activate their accounts. Attendees can access the event when they scan the QR code. Regarding web app, this is the QR code for it. When everyone scans the QR code, they can see the web app version. You can see the web link underneath. On the app setting page, organizers can drag and shift the positions of the modules. Now, we are going to talk about how to edit the modules. Organizers can change the modules icon by clicking them. After that, you can change the label name and the corresponding icon. Click Confirm to save any change. If your event app enables multi-language function, like we have English, traditional Chinese, and simplified Chinese here, you can shift to that language and do the same editing. If you would like to add a speaker, click the Add Content button. Now, you will see the Speakers panel. Click Add Speakers and input his or her name and email address. You can also insert a photo too. After inputting, click Save Speaker on the bottom left corner. The speaker is now added. You can click the Edit button to modify the information or click the Trash button to remove it. There is a multi-language field for you to select the language. After that, you might need to manually translate the speaker's information. Now, I'll guide you on how to edit the agenda modules. Click the Edit Content button, and you'll now see the Event Sessions panel. Click Create Session to input the session start time and end time, and also the title. After completion, if you want to add a new speaker to the session, you'll first need to add the speaker's information in the Speakers page and click Available Speakers in the bottom. Now, you can pick the speakers here and then submit it. After that, the session is created. Same case applies if you want to add multi-language content. Click the Edit button and select the language. So, you can now do the menu translation. For the attendees module, when you click the Edit Content button, it will direct you to the attendees list on the EMS page. Attendees can chat with each other through this feature. Kindly remind you that only approved attendees can use this feature. More than that, if you enable business card matching feature, they can also do it in the attendees module. Before that, organizers need to do the setup under meetup venue in the menu bar. You need to create the meeting venue here. Input the venue name and the corresponding time slots. It will be auto-saved for any change. Close the tab and it's done. If you have multiple languages, you can shift to it and manually do the translation. Next, we are going to talk about the Sponsors module. Click the Add the Content button and there are several sponsor levels. Feel free to click the trash button to remove any of it. If you want to rename the sponsor type, click the edit button and insert a new name. 
in the Add Sponsor button, you can upload the sponsor logo. And you may put the sponsor name, website, or certain information into it. You can also upload files like PDFs. Remember to click Confirm to save it. Now, you can see I've added two sponsors over there. Users can freely drag or reorder the positions. If you have multiple languages for your sponsors, click it and do the menu translation. Now, we can go to the live Q&A module and click Edit Content. There are two options for live Q&A options, Projector View and Approval View. Attendees can ask the questions through this module. As the organizer or the speaker, you can accept or reject the question by turning on the approval panel. If you would like to project the question on the screen, you can click the projector field and only the approved questions will be shown on the screen. Back to the app setting page, there is a file sharing feature in the bottom. Click the edit content button and you'll see the file sharing edit page. You can drag and drop more than one PDF files here. You may just click the language tabs and upload the corresponding files. Lastly, for a custom web field, you can click it and upload the custom URL. So, if you have live polling, you can simply put the link here. You can also rename the module label. Click confirm and the module is added. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.